Ladies and gentlemen, once again it is the Mason and French Show featuring the illustrious poet Trey X. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. As well as the Black Hand of Mike. Yeah. As well as El Juperino. Hey. Me, I'm Mason, a.k.a. Mahoney. Welcome. To the Mason and French show. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? Yo, I'm digging the Pink Panther intro, man. Yep. Hell yeah. Enjoy nice. Henry Mancini. Uh-huh. Mad smooth. Uh-huh. That's the kind of smooth shit you might hear at a strip club called Booty City. Coming soon to a city near Booty you. Booty City. Mm. We might just have to make man. Booty City like a traveling strip club extravaganza. No, like we go from strip club to strip club, city to city, with ah, Booty City with established. Booty, <laughs> booty City hopes. <laughs> almost had the shark. You almost oh, had a shark. Really? Oh, that's right. You went. Yeah. To, you went out to the beach. Yeah. Oh, yep. He came up. Still ain't seen him though. Did you get a picture of him at least? Did you? Like, hey, it wouldn't have shown up. We were night fishing. He popped up, cruising the tops, went across my shit like three times, and then just disappeared. Oh, so he, he didn't even nibble on you. So he crossed no, he up he on you. He didn't. Yeah, he was out there because these boys were fishing. Everyone was fishing a pair, and these dudes cut up a bunch of flays and threw it over. And I was already had my shit out in the water, you know. I caught a little oh, so fish. They, they already chumped it then for yeah. you. Oh, they already chumped it. They were it, cutting their shit, and they, yeah, they were leaving. So they just threw their shit, and they took their meat and rolled out, right? So I was like, oh, I was like, we going to have some here, Jay. And I'm sitting there chilling, and I seen that motherfucker pop up, and I said, "Look, look, there he is." And he was he was far out there though, but he swam over my shit a couple times, but he ain't hit it, and then he disappeared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, well, well, we were hoping for you, Jimmy. Like, like probably about a five five footer, maybe from forty feet away at night. Big enough to give you a good argument. Oh, there, he was definitely right? going. He was Big definitely enough, going. Yeah, at least. Look, maybe a nurse shark. Maybe I couldn't really, like I said, I couldn't really tell, but it would have been definitely a fun evening. Well, I'm glad for the shark's sake that you didn't get him, but uh, you know we are waiting to I see like that shark. This, I would like to heard the story where if he would hook them and you know that battle. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been, been. I was hoping really because I was fishing on the one side of the pier and there was nobody uh-huh. on that side, so all I was gonna do was let him take line and straight walk my shit off the pier, and then go on the beach and walk down the beach. Cause this is like 12:30 at night. Okay, just, okay. So you're just gonna go ahead and yeah. reel, reel just it out. Just drag him around. Yeah. Just yeah. walk him around. Just walk him around. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to reel him in on the pier. Fuck that. Oh, I'm gonna go away no. from the pier. No. I'm gonna go on the beach. I'm gonna get off the beach or off the pier. Walk off. And you know, I mean, walk put him the into the shallows and drown him. I'm fucking. But yeah, they go. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to pull him into the shallows where he's got no. He's got no real. Muscle. Well, I got a rim. I ain't gonna it's go like when there, it's, it's like when Jason Statham. It's like when Jason like, Statham, yeah, Statham took the big dude into the the ship and was fighting him inside the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just took him inside. Yeah, you're too big. To a smaller area. We're going into a small space. Why yeah. the fuck you up and get in close? Kick you in the shit. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna swim about six feet, turn him upside down, and just start petting him. And you're not gonna rub his belly. And take your so yeah. you're not even gonna bother to take the hook out. I'm gonna take a hook out, yeah. I'm not gonna just hack the Now, hold on, that, that's a good question. I want to see you take the hook out. That's what we all really want to see. Okay. That's what these cameras are gonna be so for one day. It's if going you on the got boat him with you. on the shore, uh-huh. you'd have to walk out to the water to pull him up onto the shore at least enough to get the hook out because you're not going in the water with him. You don't right. want to be that's in the, the, That's not the dangerous part. The dangerous part is releasing the motherfucker because the. The the un- but pulling them in, you can still be fucking having a hook and pulling on the head as you're grabbing the tail and pulling that's the body bullshit. and still controlling the head because you got it hooked. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you can bull- still keep yeah, it kind I of away from release. your body. I get the release. It's the release when you when you don't you have to hold that motherfucker. You know what I mean? You got to hold this bitch, cuddle him. And hope he just swims straight whenever he's ready to swim. Yeah, because you gotta take him back out yeah, to the water. Yeah, you gotta take him out there and let him fucking get some, get some water, hit some waves. About seven waves, you gotta at least hit him. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep washing the fuck back up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not going so anywhere. if you wanna get him out far enough, I gotta get him out at least. Fuck. Waste well, time. That sounds all the more reason to me why you shouldn't be fishing for a goddamn shark. <laughs> From like, a pier, from a pier, from anywhere, from, from a, anywhere. From, from like, a boat, if no you're problem. doing it on a boat, you're on a boat yeah, yeah, and you want to release him back out of the water, no like, problem, that's right? not too big it's of a, a deal. That's not big. That's, that's easy. That's fairly manageable. Off that's a easy, beach or a pier. See, this is why you need to spend money to fish shark in real fishing shark conditions, where you're out on a boat with Quint 
You know what I mean? That's that whole spending money thing. See, that's where you got me at. <laughs> See, that here's the thing. Is. Here's the thing. The two <laughs> units going to be like, man, it's going to cost me money. And we're going to be like, but you don't have a foot. You know, like man, it would have cost right me right money there. to be on you know, a goddamn yeah. charter fish. You're walking around like dollars. Captain Hook. I put a damn five-foot nurse shark out in the water. He turned around and took my foot off. Son of a bitch. Nah, and, speaking of take, and speaking of taking things off, um, as always, when I come on the show, I have something to bring forth to the congregation. What you got, what you got? What you got today, Let's bring two people down here, Monique and Little Nas X. Let's bring y'all both to the front of the congregation. I love it when you bring things to the congregation that I have no idea at all So why. let me start with Monique. Uh, no, okay. I know some of the Monique shit is... I'm still mad at Monique. Nothing, I'm it, still mad worry. at Monique for thinking that she should get the same kind of money as like a Chris Rock. Well, or Dave apparently she went off about some contract. She went off about a contract. She always talking about somebody else's money. A show that yeah. she always talk about DL, somebody else's right? money. Yeah, she had a show with D.L. Hughley in Detroit about a week ago. All right, you got to explain to the people because I think my understanding is she was upset that D.L. closed... Or right that she over had, her. Yeah, that she had to follow him. Yeah, you know, instead well, of her closing. The story is she well, no, wanted following to close following him the would show. be her closing the show. If she's following DL, that's her that's closing, her closing show. the show. Yeah, she supposed she thought that she was supposed to close the show. But, but it turns DL out DL Hughley was the headliner. And well, who would you like, rather see close the show? Exactly. DL. DL. Exactly. Not her. Exactly. And she went on the tirade while During she was her performing. comedy show. Yeah. People go to a comedy show to Escape what's happening in well, the world. If she not was making hear it about funny. your damn contract. No, no, she was making it funny. She was dead serious no, about she wasn't. the whole shit. She was mad <laughs> and going so on. There's a difference between. I think I still would have found a way to laugh. You know, well, I laugh at Joe Biden. I mean, she when he did when she started running. Her. She when she ran across the stage, like the runoff stage after she said her shit, people laughed. But I'm like, the only reason she's running like that is so she don't bust her ass in the hills that she's in and that tight ass dress she's wearing she to run big, off stage. She's a big girl still. No, nah, she ain't. She's Who like knows? medium size. Medium you know, size, she, but she anyway. Lost a lot of the way she had. Why are you going publicly about uh, Dio Hughley? This is the. This is what gets me about her. It's always somebody else's problem. At first, it was Lee Daniels, and then it was Tyler Perry, then it was Oprah Winfrey, then it was Steve Harvey, then it was Charlemagne the God, then it was Whoopi Goldberg, then it was Netflix. Now it's D.L. Hughley. When are you going to realize that it's not any of those people? It is you. But see, here's the thing with this now. Granted, all her shit where she's bitching about shit on stage is unnecessary. Because that's unprofessional is what it is, especially thing, if DL's the one that put her on. But see, that's just it. it. It's not DL was part of this contract deal that was done by the promoters. So this was like. So this is a promoters and your and your people to handle your contracts. So, but problem. this wasn't like a. This was a comedy thing that somebody asked a bunch of comedians to come to. It's not like DL was touring. DL, DL, DL actually, signed up for. If yeah. DL is on tour. DL asked because DL was like, "Yo, I never worked with her. I'm gonna try to work with her." You know, and he Oops. was like, he, and this is what Bad he says. Bad move, DL. And he says it. He says it on his on his on his on he his, said uh, it on radio, his radio show. show. He was like, look, man, you know, I'll never do this shit again. He goes, lesson learned. I'm not gonna work with her no more. You know, and this is why, and you guys see why. So they both released their contracts, you know, online so everybody can and see. And it's been going on for a week. And apparently, this shit's still going on. Like, it's I, like, let it go. Just. Well, she's a ridiculous person, man. Monique, I stop fucking with you with this whole boycott Netflix because. Really though, is she really worth the money that they're paying? That they paid Dave Chappelle like, okay. or Chris Rock Absolutely or not. Amy Either. Schumer Absolutely or Burt Crusher or like Cat, Cat Williams. Williams or Jim Gaffigan all, or all Bill people, Burr? All people whose comedy special I would rather watch than Monique's. Uh, you know what? I would rather watch Monique's comedy special than Mike Epps, though. Well, but that that, that, that name didn't come up in any of these other names. So now we're, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel of Netflix specials of people that we've heard of that we would or wouldn't want to watch. You know, because there's, there's Netflix comedy specials for comedians I haven't even heard of. Oh, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. right on that person. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, know, I ain't bad either. You know it's I mean? not necessarily bad, but like the people that I have heard of haven't heard anything good for a number of them. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, that doesn't bode well. Chris Rock's last one was trash. Yeah. Burt Crusher's last one was trash. Yeah, he didn't like it. But well, that Cat oh, Williams one was good. Have you seen Cats yet? You haven't tried it yet? yet? Okay, you need, yeah, you'll yeah. like it. I need to watch that. You'll like it too, yeah. It bring, like I said, it touches a lot of shit we've talked about. You know, you're like, damn, we said all this shit. All the reason I mean? why I think we need to get Cat Williams on the show. Oh, we got a lot tight. of people on, but you know. A little at a time. Now, what little happened with Lil Nas X? I mean, you know, you guys are all welcome to reach out to people you want to get on the show. If, yeah. If you want now, to, with like, Lil Nas X. You want to put in on that. Like, now, you know, moving on from Monique to Lil Nas X. The BET Awards, the nominations for the BET Awards were announced a few days ago. 
Lil Nas X is upset because he did not get a single nomination. Has hey. he dropped any material? He did. Of course he did. They're he not going to. They're year. not going to put him on because he's gay. He had like three would be my popular singles and a critically acclaimed. Now nah, they had him on there last year. They when had him he, on. When it, he was did a, that. it was the Hip Hop Awards, not the BET Awards. He was on the Hip Hop Awards. Yeah. Huh. If I remember right. I know he was on something because he had a big thing because people were talking about. Because they had him sliding down the, the, the stripper pole to hell and uh, yeah, dancing, dancing for the something devil. Something or another, but whatever the case is. And he was kissing dudes on stage and I think that's what fucked B.E.T. up a little exactly, bit. Exactly, that would be my assumption. Because I was like, wait a minute, assumption. you went a little too sexualized. You were a little too gay. Shit. That's a little Even too gay, too gay for, for B.E.T. It's, B- it's, it's too gay for B.E.T., not too yeah, gay for Trey. Um, Might be too gay. Was that too gay for you? Some people in the... Hold up, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain this Let me this come here. back to that. Let yeah. me explain this here. Ah, damn. Um, <laughs> in that vein, some people in the LGBTQ plus community did not like that performance. Yeah. They that, had an issue with there that. There was an uproar. I remember hearing that. There was a little was, uptick in there. But getting back to But if why Madonna can do it, why can't Lil Nas X know. do it, right? I don't know, but whatever the case Look, is. I don't know what 50 Cent talking about Madonna, but I was, oh, man, I was wearing her um, ass out. But yeah, like getting oh back to this, this weird-faced old Madonna, you're going to yes, hit that? right now. Yeah. We'll see you. Today years old. Today years old, you're fucking that Madonna. Bur- she ain't burned no candles on me, but I'm fucking the hell out of her. You're not, you're, not, not, you're not letting her go nah, all, uh, nah. what was that movie? Uh, Body of Evidence. Body of Evidence. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I we might bring some picture. light fixtures and shit, but we ain't, we ain't, nah, we ain't, nah. He ain't hot waxing me. He just started following her on Instagram. Yeah, he, he just, just started did. following Madonna? He just did. Yeah, I, I showed did. her, I, yeah, I, I just showed her the black picture. black and white and I said, good goddamn. All right, hold up. <laughs> hold up, I gotta look this up. But getting back to what I was saying. My bad, carry on. Um, It's all right, it's... It's I tough mean, it's to Madonna. stay, it's tough it's to stay Madonna, on so. current course here sometimes, you know? But with him, it's like... You were bitching about the Grammys because you didn't win anything. Now you're bitching about the BET Awards. Like, come on. She, he's got to get himself. yourself, man. He's got to put himself out like, there. Like, Lil Nas X, <laughs> a little note to both Monique and Lil Nas X. Humble yourself. Because, Monique, you're about to have your career completely ruined again. Well, 50's, 50's will have to put her in one of the powers. It needs and like that. I guarantee you she's going to have a problem with 50 Cent. And then 50 Cent will show her oh, no. how petty he can be. You found it, didn't you? All right, all right. I'm looking at Madonna's post on, uh, on Instagram? Instagram. Are you talking about the thing where she's laying on the bed? Yeah. She's got the glasses on and the dress. No, and no, he's no. Up he's talking about the, the one where she's about, in the well, bed. She's sitting down. Yeah, she's, she's sitting on. down on the bed and you're looking up her skirt. No. No. Where she's that, laying well, on that, that was the first one I showed her. She's laying on her stomach. That's the first ass. one I showed her. Well, but there's. But he's seen the ass one. You're going to have to scroll down yeah. like a lot. Yeah. And it's in it's in like a slide of like keep, ten. Keep scrolling till you see the booty one. It, you, no, he's. It oh, doesn't, it's there. The booty doesn't pop up, but I'll pull it up for you here. Because fucking, he saw his, her ass. He was like, "Yo, man, what the fuck wrong with 50? She, she looks crazy. Fine, man. It's a lot of plastic, there. Dude, it's she's a lot very of plastic. plastic. Like, I like it when a woman's face reacts when I'm having sex with her. You know what I mean? Well, you know, one's something I, that's frozen. I mean, I, exactly. I can't imagine that face having any reaction, right, no matter how good of an orgasm it, I am or I'm not providing. Oh, pl- what, her, her face? face? Yeah, just pluck a little bit and see if it does it shake or does just, it stay still. If just, it just stays still, then you'd be like, all right, well, then, yeah. Well, right. That's I, not you. I imagine if I slapped her with my dick, it would just that's have vulgar, no impact. Though. That's a little bit more vulgar than just a little. Yeah, but you know, motherfuckers be into that sort of thing sometimes. When you got Madonna's money, you just can't just walk up to them right in front of Applebee's and just. But she's, but she's she so plastic, play. man. I like right, I liked younger Madonna hey. when she was like oh, her yeah. face moved and shit. Well, yeah. Look for this picture right here in the scrolls, all right? I think it's one of ten. Yeah, it's one of ten. Look for this picture right here. How far down is that? What day was it put out on? It was put out November fifth, two thousand twenty-one. November 5th, because so I'm in May of 22. Those, those of you all that are looking with us. November, November 5th? November 25th. 25th. Yeah, November 25th. November 25th, Madonna's She's Instagram. She's laying thing. on a bed with her titty out. All right, I'm to February. I'm scrolling as yeah, quickly yeah, as I can. Yeah, you'll be scrolling we keep for her a going minute. Cause she's on the bed with a whip. She's just a bunch of pillows. But then she got a booty out. And the, the first time 50 said something about her pit was when she had this booty under the bed picture. Booty under the bed picture. Yeah, it's like it's, it's the last picture of that right, line. November twenty fifth. She's got her nipples out, but there's a there's a red heart over it. Yeah, man. Keep scrolling to but the last. She looks she looks like she's been face swapped here. Like oh, the yeah, first hey, picture that does not look like Madonna's face. The third face. one don't look like her either. 
keep on. Keep that doesn't. On. That looks like Megan Fox or yeah, something. Exactly. Like she looks twenty. Like that face looks twenty, keep, and the body keep, looks pretty good. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, I see some booty. Number six. Okay, so you haven't got to number ten yet. Wait till you get to number ten. <laughs> when it's just the booty under the uh, yep, from under the bed. Yep. yep. Uh, Fifty Cent, you had a problem with this? Yo, I'm, I'm hitting that. I that's hit what that. I'm saying. All that ass out, and he like, got a problem like, with what's, that. What's what Fifty Cent's problem? Don't look like, that don't look like a sixty-three-year-old ass to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he get with Amy Schumer? Who? Fifty. Fifty. I think no, he, he was if with. He, got, uh, he can't give Amy Schumer. Chelsea Handler. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea Handler. Handler. Chelsea Handler. Never mind. But yeah, this like. Yo, this, yes, right. It was. He was with Chelsea. Yeah, he was with Chelsea. Yeah, he Handler. can't say shit because Chelsea look kind of raggedy. Madonna looks better than Chelsea. Yes. Right now. But that one with the ass, old man, shit. I'm trying to tell you. Mm. I'm all I'm saying is. Her face doesn't look like Madonna's face anymore. Look, all right, is there a picture all the way at like in when you turn the lights off of her face? How bad is that? What how bad does that picture make? look like? Is that not all there? All right, that's not all there. So, what difference right. does it make? You because that's the chance with Madonna. Like, so look, what difference course, does it make? Of course, I'm banging Madonna if Madonna wants to bang. My point is, you know she does. Madonna, don't you? <laughs> Madonna how much, just, how much looks, Madonna's going to be left in the casket when Madonna leaves? As long as you don't, looks, looks, as long as you don't give her flashbacks of Sean Penn. She looks scary, though, man. Like, and speaking her of, facial structure now is and speak, fucking scary. Yeah, I'm very certain of that. But speaking of crazy couples, what you got now, as Trey? many of you know, the debacle between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp is now completely oh. over. Yeah, it came to an end. Yes, finally. Thankfully. But... Now we, what we needed was Johnny Depp come out here and blaze some bud with us while we're doing this here show. Oh. You know, hey, yo, Johnny, come here, chill, drink a little rum. He had to know? be staying still, right? Not he right around here, but vicinity. still right around Fairfax. He had to be somewhere. He wasn't going into the city. Nah, he ended up. He wasn't even there for the the, the final hearing. He was uh, doing some concert with a band that he has. It doesn't he have a band or something? He's doing some shit. Oh no, dude. But, but whatever he, the case he is, wasn't I'm there for the verdict. It's glad it's over. And as predicted, Amber Heard's career is like. Really hitting the skids. You got to give it a couple of years before yeah. we really talk, call it that it's like over. It's not yeah, over. We'll I see mean, how this. She could be, out. but she, she could, could be the biggest back. OnlyFans girl in the world. I'm about to say she's years. gonna have is fucking. That, yeah, is that what she? That what she did? No, 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 no. no, no. What, she was what, in movies. Was man. She, was an, she was in Aquaman. She was the redhead in Aquaman. Nobody seems to know of anything she was in she other was than in Aquaman. She was the ginger in Aquaman. Yeah. What else? Is that it? That's all I. That's about most people know of. I'll look it up to see what else she's been in. But I mean, Johnny. Anything Depp, else. I mean, we've seen just about any oh, and everything man. he's done. Well, he's apparently been cast in a Edward Scissorhands 2 that's supposed to come out. They're yeah. doing a what? In a couple of years. Yeah. Oh, there's this no is way. A, Winona Ryder, This goes back Michael to me Keaton, saying, yeah, this Johnny goes back Depp. to me saying that really? Hollywood's out of ideas. Well, if it's a continuation, it's, it's not necessarily... If it's a continuation, I'm with it, but... They're not necessarily out of ideas, but... I don't know. Hopefully it'll be good. It is a Tim Burton movie, apparently. But so it hasn't, Tim it hasn't been hasn't done disappointed yet. Me yet so it hasn't I, been done yet. Though, I, got so. a qu- I got a question. Why does concrete oh, pull shit. your ass out? What? Huh? Concrete huh? gives you hemorrhoids. But yeah, if you're are sitting you on putting cold it on your ass? Yeah. Don't. Everything else don't. No, Why is that? Would you sit on cold ground or it's concrete? It's the way you're sitting on it, man. It, it does pull your hemorrhoids out. Concrete, but you can sit on wood and grass and dirt all day long and not get hemorrhoids. So why is it that the concrete well, that's another pulls your ass out? Sounds like somebody needs a preparation H. You need a donut. You need one of them little rubber that's, donuts. That's one of my questions. Carry around with you. My, wow. other, my other question. Let's say you're checking this. So, Chu, have you been having some hemorrhoidal issues lately? No. I, just got, I got a lot of questions. That's some bullshit. My, this has been brought to you by the good people at Preparation H. <laughs> right. That was question number one. Question number two. How big was Tux. John Cobb Cock when he came out as a baby? Question number three. <laughs> who who, who, is, who, who is, is there? What kind of question is that? Stay up on question three. number two. And uh, Mason, give the Judas sweet <laughs> sounds to the Wonder Girls. You don't know how big somebody's tree was when they was born. I mean, uh, if you want to know how big it is, it's a daughter. Is that something you want to tell us today? Like, if you really got 12, it, let's say you got a 16-inch dick as a grown man. How big was your dick as a kid? Your dick really grow an inch a year? I mean, it ain't, it ain't feet. <laughs> Wait, my God. Did you is contemplating the size of baby dicks? I'm, not, I'm just wondering. Baby that dicks. Road. Baby dicks. You know, you're, you're right down the road wondering about, about, about baby dicks. Hit him with the girls again. Hit him with the girls again. I'm like, you know what? Fuck. 
Yeah, it's not my fault these big cats want me driving that road today. You know, I'm trying to buy my business, get flicked off and shit, because I want to do my bad for doing 80 in the left lane. I apologize, ass clown. You know? And that's when you thought of John Holmes' like, baby dick. You know, I want to, you know, I want to, you know, fuck. So I bet John Holmes' baby dick was nice and I thick. I bet his dick came out I bet that was a meaty cock. He probably came out, like, and the nurse had to be like, damn. And the well, nurse was ready to bang the baby. My nurse saying, damn. I mean, he came out, I mean, I'm not as <laughs> Like, well, it's nice uh, to see you participating in the show uh, again, uh, Juice. Unless, unless your dick does grow an inch a year. Oh, and that'd be phenomenal. I'd be laying oh, on the fuck. ground and trying to mark it, you know, like you do on the wall. <laughs> with your head, you know, your height. Ass. You know, if it was growing like that. Oh, oh my God. God. I mean. It's a good thing that the Jew didn't have a child with a massive uh, penis. My, my because he was like, hey boy, we have to measure your dick. It's your nearly dick measurement. Come here, boy. That's what I'm saying. It could yeah, be. yeah, this was this morning. All right, oh, my, fuck. My, my third question. If you're checking out this chick, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're checking out a chick. Like, you're checking out a chick. A right? female, just a, a female, random lady. Yes, okay. Uh, uh, I see a random listen girl. To, listen to the story. You're, you're checking out a, a chick, right? You eye fucking the shit out of her, right? You're already pregnant her visually, right? She turns out to be a dude when she turns all the way around. Are you gay? Because you probably would still have sex with her since you already physically had her, visually had sex with her, you've so mentally, and you, you already you went, mentally fucked her. You went far you enough with your, with your brain. So do you carry it through once you realize it's a dude, and is that gay? I mean, I'm probably not, but you're welcome to, and it doesn't matter Those if it's gay. Questions. It doesn't matter if it's gay, Jew. You do what you like, man. If you see a guy if that looks like a chick looks and like you a want chick, a boner, you're like, man, I'm gonna yeah. tear that ass up. No, it just because you see that motherfucker might want to tear your ass up. <laughs> As, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you visualize her in your mind. You thought it was a chick, but then you're like, but how many? You, really how many anyway? you had at the bar before you even came to the conversation? Just that nowadays, happened. nowadays, man, these <laughs> motherfucking dudes that that uh, I guess either androgynous. <sighs> Yeah, they, 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 they associate being a female or they want to transgender nah, or whatever. Andro tri like. Androgynous is like different to me though, because I think I like a David Bowie like banging chicks or like Prince like banging chicks. <laughs> I mean, and yeah. Androgynous is just like, you know, kind of like. Prince can put on feminine. your woman's clothes, do a right. show for six hours, and take your girl at the same time. That's exactly See, right. Yeah, okay, okay. Prince, so, Prince will wear a dress so better than guys, your girl and take her away so from the, you. So the, the guys that are dressed and doing a transgender uh, thing. Some of them have been coming out looking like just straight women. Like, I mean, really sure, dead on. Sure, man. So I can see where he's come from, where he's like, I, 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 I see yeah, this girl. Yeah, but no, that's not, I, that's I not, this woman. That's not that, what he said. But he no, said he saw himself. somebody that he thought was a chick. That already he has thought about banging her. And, already put and then he it turned around and, he and it was like, a dude. It was like, <laughs> that's what he said up. happened. That he's questioning his motherfucking sexuality. No, that that didn't happen to me. But there's a lot of dude chick looking chicks at work. Where I've looked at him before, I'm like... That's a dude, and I'm like, oh fuck, it's not a dude. So like, th are these women? Because just because they way they they tuck their hair and their fucking helmet or the little whatever little bandana or some shit they rock, you know what I mean? It's like the 1800s. Some chick yeah. just tucks her hair up and pretends to be a boy, but and Jews like, oh man, damn. I and I mean, there are some short, him. you know, some damn near bald, you know, shaved head chicks walking around a job every now and then too, you know. You I see those shaved headed chicks around. Yeah, right yeah. So. I'd bang a shaved headed chick. But I can ask I'd you the first question. I'd bang a sh chick with a shaved head before I'd bang some dude that what I was thought was a girl question? before I the realized he was a dude. Oh, the hemorrhoids. What, what the you got? The hemorrhoids of concrete and said that the reason why it would happen on concrete is because the pressure that's put on the veins in your asshole and shit. Uh -huh. It's because it's a uh, hard you. surface. It's that pressure. What about, is it only concrete or about asphalt? No, I'm asphalt? quite sure it can happen on asphalt, but asphalt has a different temperature than, than fucking And a different does. texture. Like it's a black texture. asphalt like, is yeah, going to be way different than concrete. Than concrete is. Concrete is, is, is this hardened fucking All right, well cement. then what about the second question? But I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do it. I answered them as they were coming. <laughs> that, so, yeah, look, if you, you should have Googled that. There should definitely be some Googleable information. I mean, he should you have had a fucking... You might have to ask me to get an anatomy for that. He wants to know if if you got a fucking 16 inch oh, cock, how big, how big? big was your baby dick? <laughs> <laughs> Man size if, if my grown average 16 inch 16 inch dick 
Yeah, did you come out looking like you had a third leg? Or did that bitch I really grow an issue? Yeah, that, that was the one of the th- of the three that I have no real answer for. Yeah, I don't have an I can't tell that. you how big John Combs' childhood <laughs> cock was. How big was he when he came out of his mother? Because you cannot did the look dick that up. Ex- the, the dick you really ex- can't look that up, but what you can do is give him the sweet sounds of the weather girls. <laughs> See, the real question is, was the dick that came out on that baby bigger than the dick that made that baby? That, you know, it, you know it's yeah, a possibility. It bound to have it's been hard bigger. to really say. Well, it's bound to have been bigger by the oh, time wait, it was why fully why grown. Did the dick come from his mama? <laughs> this man is not a thinker. There's a whole lot of questions about genetics, and you might have to look up genetics and... All right. Anatomy. In I that doubt regard. they have real answers at this point. Anyway, I highly doubt there's so you much do. disinformation on how big dicks get. <laughs> there is. They vary. They vary. There's disinformation on a lot of things, but absolutely, that's the. I don't different. think anybody will ever come up with a real answer to either of those que- the latter two Cause, questions. Because I know fucking. Well, I would think that you could h- isolate a hormone and take injections at some point to make your dick bigger. See, I would think. Here's here's my thing. Like what if they can isolate whatever it is that makes the dick get bigger? And then just give it to you in a pill form. This this you this, this is that going work towards you, Mister Unit. Okay, when you had your children, did you be like, "Oh man, my boy's gonna be hung"? Like you know, you, did you think that in your head? Nah. Is that is that what you were looking for? Is the baby's popped out? I knew how big my dick was. I was like, "Nah." <laughs> Well, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> God damn it, you dumbass. Oh, my goodness. Unless, well, unless I was thinking, I was like, the only way it happened is if it'd be like one of them, you know, two negatives make a positive, you know, two regulars make a, make a, regular. make a quadruple or something. Well, I'm like, I don't okay. even know or something. Some sort of genetic or abnormality. Or after me, a little bit of milk falls down. I know when my know, son came spot. out, I was like, yo, my son going to be rocking that joint. Go ahead, boy. My motherfucking son came out with my man. I was like, yeah, that's my boy so right you there. you were checking your boy's dick out when he came out. Man, I was checking it out in the womb when they fucking was like, yo, dude, you having a boy or a girl, son? Like, when we went and did the ultrasound, the first time we went, the way he was turned, they was like, oh, they, oh you got a girl, you know, because you couldn't really see shit. So we go back, right, and they do another one. This is like two weeks later, and the lady was like, hey, you see that thing right there that looks like a snail? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, hold on, hold on. You telling me that's his dick? She goes, yeah, give me two copies of that right there. You know what I mean? I literally had one copy of his face and two copies of his dick because I was like, yo, I got a boy right here, right? Jesus Christ, So Mike. I went to the doctor's office, uh, right? It's funny. like. Did you just look it up? It's Goddamn. It's funny. Well, did it you look up John penis, Combs' dick as a baby? <laughs> penis growth starts in puberty, so all dicks come out normal. Can you imagine uh, being 13, being 16, and your dick growing like two inches I don't a year? have kids, but every father that I've heard, <laughs> we gotta get John Combs. We gotta get John Combs. Is he alive? Ever, not, is he alive? <laughs> we gotta get him on. Yeah, yeah, John Combs on here. Yeah. Ask him how big his dick was when he was a baby. Yeah, as a baby. Yeah, that's the <laughs> same. John Combs. When did your dick yeah. become yeah. something that you was like, wow, yeah. that's when really big? When did you carry that thing around? No, when did you really know you couldn't play basketball anymore? You like, you know, fuck. I go to the gym, y'all, but you know, I gotta wear out this goddamn dick bra, you know, because it's fucking not in song. Cock I got right here. Stands a smack you in the face with a dunk on you, bitch. You, you think know? a lot about so, dicks, Mike. I mean, Jew. You yeah. think a lot about dicks, bro. This is just a today conversation. This is I'll, just a today I'll conversation. Be over tomorrow. I'll just be like, well, I've been thinking about dick all day, man. I'm trying to figure out how big I'm dick like, is. Well, I guess dick just don't grow. How does oh, yeah. dick get so big? Sometimes oh, that's all I can think about. It's just like titties. When the titties grow, I guess titties really only start growing really at a certain time and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. most some, little some, girls are all flat chested. Early Jesus on. Some Christ. girl grows developed, man. You know, it all depends on when well, the hormone well, kicks in. How old is the titty grow? That's, don't a, you, that's another I question. Know, I think know? forever. Because I knew what? some girl in high school that had a reduction and her titties kept growing after she had a reduction. It all also depends, too, because titties, they get they expand when they have children. But they also they sag, full, right? Yeah, it's, it depends. They can sag. If you haven't had a depends child. Depends on the girl. If you usually. I know. Age can drag down a titty. It can. Age it's, can drag down a titty. Is it age or is it gravity? I think it's gravity. Well, it's gravity, no. but you know, as, gravity. As, they, as they get older, sometimes it can happen. But at, but also, as titties have, get older, sometimes they if, get if, a little if, gravity if, effect. If, if, if you have children, eight it to thirteen, them. that's when you get titties. God, dude, this motherfucker's studying it. I'm glad he's actually looking up he's, information. He's, he's very participating today. Yeah, it's like yeah. You looking up when titties start growing? 
looking yeah. for. He's looking for wind ticks. Start throwing and wind ticks. Ass is gonna start growing immediately. Well, of course they're not gonna. That's fucking stupid. Said ass. I think. I think ass. That's it. I mean. They got that was before 50 Cent got to the water. Now. That was way before 50 got to the water. Just ass just grows regularly. The ass can get done now. They got doctors for all they that They got shit. doctors for that. Dr. Miami is still in business. Uh, last y'all got to be careful with all that. That's some madness. This one on here. Injections in the booties and such. They, they be doing it still, though. Yeah, Even they though they People know do the all outcome. shit nowadays. Like, they know that this shit could be fucking detrimental to your health and it still happens. It's just like most People folks. still go to Tijuana and get the actual rubber cement stuck up in there, man. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they be putting all kinds of funky yeah. shit in people's booties, man. They got them uh, at the home clinics. Cement. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's um, what they it were was doing. actually in a TV show that's now on Hulu. It used to be on FX. The botch, botch surgeries or whatever? No, this was like on an episode of. Pose. I don't think either one of y'all have watched that show. Nah. No, I don't highly suggest it if you have Hulu, being that it is Prime Month and one of the many. There you go. And by the way, speaking of which, to any and everybody, um, in case you didn't know, the Capital Pride Festival is June 12th on Pennsylvania Avenue in D.C. Um, I will not be there in person, but I will be there in spirit. And to those that are going, please be careful because Rona is still out there and I'm not about to get fucked up. You ain't going because of the Rona? Well, I've or got that other, Well, you know. number one, i got other stuff to it's do. It's also too, too gay for Trey, right? No. No. <laughs> no, I've been before. I've been before. Oh, they nice. got some shit going on. They got uh, Juneteenth shit going on up there yeah. at the mall, too. I'm supposedly, I'm off work Friday because they, they ain't let us on the job or some shit. Yeah, it's federal holiday. Yeah, oh, it's nice. because of that, it's because there's something doing, I guess they're doing something on the mall. Like, I can't get to the job. Oh, yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah, the case yeah, is, yeah, it's right. like, so, you don't want to be in D.C. on a day like that. No, yeah. 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 you don't want to do that. And, and that's really the real reason why I wouldn't want to go to a thing like that. It has nothing to do with not wanting to, like, support it or even go promote the podcast. Just getting in and out. Just getting there and getting out of there. The last time I went to Capital Pride, I went with my ex, and getting there from Metro was all right, but getting back to... Coming out of the back, going... Man, it was a train wreck. Right, because right. right. on the way, everybody's, like, doing the thing, you know? They're wearing um, leathers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's no, got no, game no, rainbows, no, 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 going to no, 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 the You know what I'm saying? They're just jamming. No, 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 no. And then not everybody really. coming home is all degree, wore out. To some degree, it is, but... Just assless chaps scooting all over the place. Right. Electric scoot. I imagine, I imagine people are a lot happier on the way than they are on the way out. And that's really all I'm saying. Not Usually, that, not that they're necessarily but but that's really gaining that it up or anything. Day, but, but that's how it is at any kind of festival you go to. Like when we exactly. go to the cannabis festival, exactly. everybody's good going in, but right. coming out, motherfuckers just beat. Yeah. Exactly, and that's they're the exhausted. thing. That's the thing, man. All that shit just wears you out. So, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's got an appeal, but it's also got a bit of a uh, plus. Also, ugh. getting in and out of D.C. during festivals uh-huh. are a rough thing. It, it is it's out just rough. Getting just out of D.C. occasionally on whatever. Exactly. And that's the main thing. You, especially you just if you're want to leave, you want to get out. Especially if you're of like on Metro, you don't want to get on the wrong train and end up in the wrong part of D.C. Right. There's that too. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. I did especially that. if you're on the red line. And you're you if you're leaving at the end too. You know, if you're yeah, going out on the last train, you get off the wrong spot. You're not getting back on. Yeah. The end of it is ends at like ten o'clock, I think. Yeah, I, that's the other thing. I, never, I think they boosted on. Days I never like understood that. their schedule because I remember taking my uh, nephew and cousin up to go see the N one joint, and the last train I think was at like eleven o'clock. Yeah. So we had to leave before it's even over. Before the shit was even yeah. over, like we couldn't stop and holler at people. We had to go, get to the fucking yeah. train, and then when we got there, it was like two trains left. And fucking, we had to be on one of these fucking trains to get out of here. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because so, I almost ran wild. into that going to the National Christmas Tree a few years ago. That's why I, I that's me, when they personally, I'd rather drive on in there and fucking figure it out afterwards. I can not, always drive. I'm not I, I would definitely let you drive us in there, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you know, know what I mean. I'm not driving. The thing about that is that, My car that will get stolen. four-hour window that they have, that's the only time they ever do maintenance. Yeah. On the trains. Yeah, That's yeah, why, well, yeah. another reason why the trains always fucked up. Because you really legitimately giving people like four hours from start to stop, minus an hour safety meeting that you got to do to talk well, about how doing, you're supposed to do your job. And right. they're doing you know? hundreds of thousands of miles on these train cars. Like I yeah, was listening the other day. Yeah, well, yeah. not a, I mean, not necessarily a day, but uh, they're doing a lot a day. But I was listening and they were 
talking about the ones that the wheels were coming off of. Yeah. So they were like, you know, the wheels have been coming off the train cars. So well, yeah, they haven't so been so running. They got so many trains. And, but then they go, then they go, they're trying to limit to ones that have less than 300,000 miles on them. And I'm like, well, the wheels are coming off after 300,000 miles. I can kind of wrap my head around how that could happen. Oh, yeah. I you're, mean, they're running for Virginia and America. Place the axles and the motherfucking wheels and the housings. I mean, you're going to have to do a lot to That's maintain lot. some shit That's like that. Lot. Like, yeah. I get it. But, uh, yeah, I could see how that might be necessary. D.C., metropolitan area, the metro, whoever the fuck's in charge. Like, maybe, maybe you want to maintain these things uh, or change the wheels metro's out. Metro's garbage, man, because, like, they, been, I mean, been you, been can't, been you can't been drive. Been I'm been saying you can't drive 300,000 miles on a car's tires without nope. replacing them. Nope. You know what I mean? Oh, and you're going to right. drive 30 now. That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to replace other parts, too, along the way. And they're not really doing any of that shit on a train. They're just riding the motherfuckers yeah, till the wheels fall off. And they're going, oh, shit, man, the wheels fall off. What they're doing, they, they're, oh, they're saying they're updating the cars, they're replacing the cars because some of them oh. cars they have were just some raggedy fucking cars. I mean, you're raggedy. Dude, those are 300,000 ones. Yeah. 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 I thought it was, the, of seven, of I thought it was the, seven, the seven thousand. Well, there's an eight thousand series or seven thousand series. I know, but either way, it was the old raggedy ass carpet from like the 80s and shit, you know, with the orange, with the orange red, seats. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, that was, I mean, you're talking about trains so been running for 10, 10, 10 15, 15 fucking years. years you know what I mean? well, it's the yeah. same chairs, the same chairs we were sitting in when we were going to, like, the Smithsonian in high school and, or yeah. middle school and field MCI trips and shit. Same shit. Same shit. Uh, yeah. same shit. Uh, yeah. so the the MCI Center. MCI Center. Yeah. 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 Remember that company that sold, that had uh, regular phone coverage for yeah. your house? Yeah. Yep, yep. And the center that took the place of the Capitol Center, which was falling apart anyway. Mm. It's just fucked up. My dad was like, uh, up there in MCI, uh -huh. like he was something he needed to get a college degree, and he would have been like vice president or some shit of that motherfucking place. That was the only thing keeping him from when he was fucking back in the day there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit. I don't know. I mean, I guess That's it was a big ass fuck company. Fuck that. But that was right was. before Sprint. Right then, Sprint bought out next. I don't know. Sprint. I guess maybe Sprint uh, got MCI. I think they went to Sprint next, or is it nah. AT? They went AT and T. It was MCI, and then it went to something. Did else. they go right to Verizon? Verizon. They went straight to Verizon. They went to Verizon. MCI was Verizon. They went to yeah. Verizon. Yeah. 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 Verizon bought them out. And then, and then Verizon Center, MCI Center uh, became Verizon. Center, you know right? the latest on the fucking because okay. um, now it's Capital One. Uh, the Red, uh, Redskins. What the fuck are they now? The Who are the Woodbridge? They're the Woodbridge uh, Comanches. The Comanches. They're not Woodbridge coming to, Comanches. They're, they're having issues with coming to Woodbridge. Oh, now. you think oh, yeah. what it's talking Absolutely. about? Because you can't get in and out of fucking Woodbridge now? So let's put a goddamn stadium up in the motherfucker? Jesus Christ, man. I didn't know that was going to happen. Goddamn, you got a super ring tunnel on them. Turn my yeah. off. Yeah, no, that was my alarm. <laughs> How would you ever think if, you could do anything like that? If they built that stadium in Woodbridge, and it's, I saw the location where they're going to put it, yeah. it's not too far away from a neighborhood. You got people parking on people's lawns. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Well, I'd be selling like, places to park on my lawn. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you go outside oh, on a bucks, Sunday dog, afternoon, you, right you see people parking on your lawn to go to a. Well, didn't, they already, didn't they buy that land already? No, no, they, no, put no in, they, they, they put in they a bid. They put in a bid, but they like got everything just so that they could buy the land if they wanted but to. But now you got to you you get it out of it. You've got to get it. You've got to get like you government. Can't put it in Virginia. You got to get the government to like approve it and you all that sort of stuff. Virginia, Where? But the Percival? Loudon would do yeah. that. Percival? Loudon, 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 Loudon would do uh, it. Out there, maybe. Loudon would. Loudon's got the money. They would put in on that. Yeah, they need all the data. They need Amazon and Google the most own data centers own most of that shit. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Still get it Amazon, done. Amazon owns a lot Amazon's of that shit taking over Amazon's Amazon taking over Amazon owns a lot they're, of they're, they're getting ready. Who's that? Bezos? That's going to be uh, yeah. Bezos. The problem is they, they don't want to do it because the stadium's not even big enough that they're proposing. They're talking about a 60,000 seat right. stadium there. That's not big enough to house a Super Bowl. If you're going to build a new stadium, you yeah, need to be building something. This. We could get a Super Bowl. What's FedEx do? 100? Yeah, like 100. It was, I think it was at 105 at one point. And so maybe it's back down into the 90s. So there are still arguing that they should be in fucking D.C. at What's the RFK. What's yeah, How much is that and they're saying just revamp RFK no nah, no way like, keep the nah, stadium you demo that you're shit yeah. you demo and rebuild what I want to see is a stadium twice as big as RFK because I think RFK did like 45,000 or something small. like that it was not a big stadium uh, but the dynamics 42,000 the dynamics of it the way that the stands behind the that's what everybody was talking about shit. they're like yo build that a stadium in build DC build it twice as big we'll fucking keep it rocking right. like that you, you literally just all you do is you, you take the original right there, plans though, man. and you, you just flip them you can't no more where 
RFK is at right now because they got other shit going on. Well, you'd have to, you'd have to, you'd have to buy have out all them out houses there. and shit. It's right not even not house. Space. The parks, they, they, they've redone it to where, you know, you got like recreational centers for kids and whatnot out there. And people are like, yo, we'd rather have this than the stadium. We'd rather have some place for the kids yeah. to go and they can have a good time, be yeah. safe and play than... A fucking stadium where every Sunday this shit's gonna be a pain in the ass. Like I said, they're gonna have to go to Percival. Nah. Probably when they're next to got fucking 300 fucking acres, they ain't doing a goddamn nah, thing with They I'm wouldn't, because I'm telling you, your Amazon is gonna take that shit over. Not Percival, they ain't going that far. Yeah, they will. Oh, yes, they are. I don't know, man. I mean, eventually they would, but you get in there before that, there's a lot of, like I said, that's about an. That shit ain't happening. But see, also so. up there, you're talking around horse country area. Now. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's horse country is another one where motherfuckers don't want to touch. They don't touch my land because I got my motherfucker. That's why you got to find somebody who's got like 300 acres and then just put it right in the middle of that motherfucker and say, There's fuck no all way. y'all. It's not, that's it's not too, far it's too, yeah, far it's too far out. It's too far out. Yeah, it's too far Percival's too far out. For everybody. You have to do like on the edge of, you just like the edge of Leesburg. You could do somewhere around Leesburg as far as the population is concerned. Leesburg or Ashburg. Ashburg, and they ain't going to come off of that. Even the people in Maryland will still be bitching because they got like, oh, we got to drive to motherfucking Virginia. Bitch, we got to drive up to fucking Maryland. Exactly. What the fuck? Somebody's not going to be happy. in Washington and D.C. motherfuckers. Anyways, what's yeah, no, it's, it's just a contract's going to run out. Yeah, yeah they got a contract on the space. Oh, they're not going to sell to anyone because they don't like them. Uh, maybe. Because weren't they fused or something last time? Didn't well, they have to do something? Also, didn't have to change the name last time or some well, shit? See, there was also it. some beef about, like, where they're going at all because, like, Dan Snyder's such a piece of shit. And that's the other part. They're right there. They're trying to get rid of Dan Snyder. Motherfuckers Schneider. do not like Dan Snyder. NFL is going to get rid of Dan Snyder. He's, he's, he, he's the owner of the team or something, right? How yeah. do you get rid of the owner? How do you uh, de-owner? You're part of an owner association that has to approve you of being a part of it. Yeah. So if you do things that they decide is unbecoming of their association, they can revoke your right to have that ownership, and that's what the, there's talk of happening to Dan. What happens to the team is anybody can buy, or anybody. I believe it would just yeah. go into auction or whatever. It would go into auction mode like it did when Dan, Daniel Snyder bought. I don't it the know. First but what would be the see, starting bid for that? Eight hundred million dollars. This, this is where people were having issues with it, though, because they're like. Virginia doesn't want it because of all the issues that Dan Snyder has with him and what's well, I've, been going I've on. heard that many places in Virginia are way more open to working with them if Daniel Snyder is well, not yeah, the owner exactly. of the team. Exactly, and that's the problem they have out this way. DC's problem was they're like, well, the real problem is space. They ain't got a run not, only, not only that, but DC or the the Washington team isn't a winning team. They're like, they're like, there's nothing for us to talk about with them. Yeah, like. They need to change how they Culture. operate, how they are, before we can put support behind. Yeah, they need to bring them money. And basically, they're saying they need to bring them in money before exactly, they can. Exactly. Before they need to be worth the investment. Money makes That's money. It. Makes if money. You, yeah. if you money rebuild, makes money. If you rebuild RFK and you did parking garages all around it, oh, then, you, man, can, then you can handle shit. it. It's just, it's just, just had, major league. Just if you had football. ten or 15 level parking garages uh, all the way around instead of just There's a parking lot parking like lot. it is. Oh, man. It's I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what. When I went to uh, the Caps game, have you ever went to the fucking uh, yeah. Ray, Ray Rise and MCI Center or whatever the fuck it's called? Yeah, you had, water in a while, when you had yeah. to park in front of another car and leave your doors cracked or your windows cracked and your keys in your fucking in your car? Do what? I've never heard huh? of that. What are you talking about? When, when we went to the motherfucking Caps game, we park in the basement of the motherfucking arena. Yeah, I've parked in basements in, around the like, Capitol Center. No, or in the in, in the bottom of the in the bottom of that Capitol One or whatever. Yeah, yeah I've parked right. in the basement there parking like three, garages there. There was a car in front of me. Not me, but there was a car behind me. But sometimes there was a car in front, in the middle, and a car behind, like three deep in a, in yeah, a goddamn yeah, row. Yeah. And they tell me leave your windows down a little bit and your and your keys. I guess so they could move someone's shit when the other motherfucker got there to the car. Right now, motherfucker. No, I've never nah, heard nah, anything nah, like I ain't that. Never done Is that, that what you did? That's what the whole garage did. <laughs> That's crazy. That just screams, steal that my shit. Bullshit. Yeah, no way. I mean, that shit was. Give me my fucking money back. I'll go find someone else. That shit was. But I mean. I didn't mind because I didn't have nothing in my shit, you know what I'm saying? But. I'm like, man, this is crazy. There's nice ass cars here. These motherfuckers just leaving us. You know, there's there's a range right there. You the know? the like, reason probably why is because they feel safer at a hockey game than they would at a football game. Because you know the the, the crowd is different. 
It's nothing's going to really happen to you. No, but I've never garage. been in a parking garage where oh, you're oh, damp, where you're I've never where seen that like blo- where you're like blocked in. Yeah, I've never seen, I've never I've seen, seen that in like fields, you know, field parties and shit like that. I've seen that that stadium ain't like that. I've seen that at Wolf Trap. I never heard of nothing like that. I ain't I'm never leaving my keys in the car oh, for someone no. else to move it for. But me. I'm not going to be there for the car. You, you Whether it's you pay for the car, you're not touching well, it. Whether it's it. an automatic or a stick shift, I, I'm not letting somebody else drive my well, shit. If it was like a stick, that. I wouldn't have done There's that. There's no fucking way. I mean, it's if it was, no d- I mean, like I said, I, I ain't got nothing in. I'm like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, we're going to have to bring this episode of the Mason and Friends Show to a close. Oh, yeah. We'd like to thank you for listening. We'd like to encourage you to check out old episodes. We'd like to encourage you to give us a like and a follow on the YouTube and the like, Rumble. share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. As well as likes on the whatever thing you might be Platform listening to, listen us on. to us That's on. right. Yep, yep. Whatever. Listen or watching. That's right. Either uh, or. Follow us on the gram and all the other places. Do both. You know. All of it. Standard calls to action that shows like to give. I don't know. I don't really care that much, but uh, I'd like you to follow us and listen and help us promote the show to your friends just that don't know. Us. And uh, you know, have a great rest of your week. You know what I mean? Are oh, you yeah. getting the usual spiel? I'm about to. F- I'm trying to like work my way into it. Uh, be nice to people that look like you, and be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh huh. Little bit by little bit, ladies and gentlemen, keep moving forward. Always invest in your mental wealth and protect your energy. Also, don't forget, in order for Pride Month, don't go corporate. Go to the usual charities. Go to P Flag. Check out the Trevor Project. Check out Glad, G L A A D. Check them out. There you go. Fire it up. That's right. Remember, be uh, nice to people that look like you and nice people that don't. Uh, uh, don't be a dick. Um, basically. You know, we don't forget, we love you. You can do whatever it is you're trying to do as long as you just keep doing yep, it. Yep. And uh, we love you very much, and peace be with you. Peace. Go. We out of here.